That's good. That's good. Been up to um, you know, too much lately. No, just working. <laughs> yeah, it's always the one. Yeah, how how's lockdown? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It was a bit of a stuffy day, unfortunately, so that didn't help. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a bit frustrating, but okay. kept on working like I usually do. Yeah, you're lucky you can do most of your stuff online. Yep, yeah. So it's um yeah, it's pretty cool. Where's everyone else? Oh I don't know, I'm here. <laughs> Good. So he's on. Hello, Tui. Connecting audio. Hello. Oh, audio is still not connected. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Been up too much? Nah, not a lot. Just work. Work, 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 work. Seems to be the same for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. And, um, and okay, let's start with some wins. So, Lisa, what has been your win in the last seven days? Um, being more organized. Yeah. With dinner, yeah. Awesome. Good work. Yeah. Great to hear. And, uh, Tori, what's been your win? Um, not eating hot chips. <laughs> Good. It's always a win. <laughs> awesome 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 i'll just message julie who's going to be doing the talk oh we got the time difference right she's in australia but And um, okay, and how is the exercise and the nutrition going? Um, the exercise is still a little bit iffy. Um, nutrition, I've started eating breakfast more often. That's good. Yeah, yeah, and um, not as much snacky fatty foods as I usually do. That's good. That's good. And are you feeling better for it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking heaps more water. Water, yeah, me too. Good. <laughs> cool. One second. Cool. Just um, putting uh, Julie coming on. So she's found the link, which is good. Um, and what about you, Lisa? How's the exercise and the nutrition? Um, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Um, exercise, I'm trying to at least do every other every other night doing something. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good here. And uh, you know, if you keep on doing that, keep on doing that consistently. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I've got you now. Hello, Julie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? That's good. I'm going great. I'm just trying to hide in the room away from kids. Otherwise, they all want to come here and make a bunch of noise and I can't hear anything. <laughs> that was the one, eh? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Cool. And, um, and, yeah, so, Julie, what's been your win for the last, I don't know, seven days? My what? Your, your win. Your biggest win. My biggest win? 
Oh, for the last seven days, well, <laughs> over the over January, February, I was losing a bit of Christmas weight that I gained, <laughs> yeah. being naughty, yeah. <laughs> not working over Christmas and sitting around with mum and eating things I'm not supposed to be eating. But <laughs> um, this week for me, um, I'm actually setting up my gym area in the garage yeah so i've because of the huge amount of weight that i've already lost um the end of last year i was just i just decided that i was going to maintain what i'd already lost yeah. and um i was happy where i was at mm -hmm. like I, i'm still happy where i'm at like i'd like to lose at least another 20 kilo mm -hmm. but um I'm just getting used to where I'm at and maintaining where I've got to. And now I've decided that I'm going to get it moving again. Mm -hmm. So um, I decided to set up my little gym in the garage and order my booty bands and all my other things that I decided. To, I've got a treadmill and a vibration machine. And uh, what I was mentioning before, my um, rebound trampolines. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I've got left to get now is my little TV for, to do my workouts. Yep. For my rebound trampolines. Yeah. Um, I'm no pro at it. I'm just, just a beginner, just learning. But it's lots of fun. Yep. And... Um, I might look, look look like a bit of an idiot at first, but I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. Would be a good work. Like you want to learn how to dance. <laughs> well, but um, yeah, it's just I've just decided to get myself motivated, um, back to work, and kids are back at school, so mm. now's the time to do it. For sure. For sure. Okay, and I guess like just um uh going back at, at your journey when you started so i pretty much introduced you to everyone so this is julie everyone um she had a massive transformation last year uh where she lost 70 kilos seven zero um and totally smashed it um and so i invite her on to kind of get her secrets on how she was able to uh <laughs> Uh, a lot of different things <laughs> <laughs> which is uh which is cool so i guess take us back to the beginning when it where it all happened um where you all started um i think in the beginning um i was in a depressed state you could say i just moved back to australia from america i was living over there for six years and then um i'd gained so much weight over there i rocketed to i was 160 kilo mm -hmm. um my husband or well, ex now decided to go back to america and cheat on me <laughs> so that wasn't good for the depression that made it worse yeah so um you know i sort of sat around for a while and feeling sorry for myself and um feeling a bit more depressed and then i just decided one day you know I can't do this. I've got to get up. I've got to get motivated. I've got to, you know, do something about this situation, not just for me, but for my children. Mm -hmm. So that's where it all started. And um, I, the, the first thing with weight loss, I've done, I've had weight loss, you know, many times before because I've got thyroid issues. So with each pregnancy, I gain a good 50, 60 kilo. And I've got seven kids, so <laughs> I've, lost, I've been and lost a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, but no more kids for me, that's it. My youngest is six, my oldest is 27. Um, so I think with weight loss, I think the, the main thing is you have to be ready for it. You have to be... You have to change your whole mindset. Um, if you're not ready, it's not going to work. 
Um, and I believe that any diet works. It's you that doesn't work because you give up on it. And it does happen many times. People say, oh, I'm going to start this diet, blah, blah, blah. You know, people seem to think that you can go on a diet and two weeks later you've reached it. Well, that's not how it works. <laughs> so, um, you just have to keep going. You just have to, you, you plateau, you lose weight. You lose a big chunk of weight, you plateau, you, you keep, just keep going, don't stop. And um, I think that's the main thing is your mindset really, just um, sticking to it, don't give up. Yeah. Um, go online and read a lot of motivational things. And the big thing for me is um, you can't look at these people that are, you know, oh, I went through so much, I had to lose 10 kilo. And I look at them, I think, is, is she kidding? <laughs> <laughs> is this woman serious? Like, she's complaining about 10 kilo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish I only had 10 kilo to lose. That'd be great. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I think the biggest thing was getting involved in you, like with you, John. Mm -hmm. um, the double digits because the big thing with a lot of the ladies here is they're in the triple digits where I was at. Yeah. And um, you can kind of relate more mm. and people are like the women, men and women in the triple digits, they understand more of what you're going through. Yeah. Like these little women that have to lose 10 kilo, they don't, they don't understand what we go through. Like how I use my biggest issue was if I park in this parking space and someone parks beside me, am I going to be able to get back in the car? Yeah. You know, it just, and then it's, I need to go to the toilet. Oh, it's just such an effort. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just go into the toilet. Like simple th little things that people do every day. Yeah. Going grocery shopping, my feet are killing me, my legs are killing me. And um, a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. But you, you get to talking to women that are where you are at, they can relate, they can understand, and you can motivate each other. Mm. Um, a lot, it's a lot more, well, for me, it was better for me for my mindset and emotion, emotional state um, to, you know, talk to people that were in my situation. 100%. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the women, you know, here and even yourself can understand a lot of what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you've been there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I just think the biggest thing is your mindset. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got to be ready for it. 100%. Um, yeah, if you're not ready for it, it's not going to work. I was a, pro pro how do you say it, procrastinator. Yeah. <laughs> it was always, oh, I'll start it when the kids go back to school. Oh, I'll start it when this happens. Oh, no, I'll do it when that happens. Oh, yeah, I'll start it on Monday. Monday comes, oh, yeah, I'm not going to do this. I'll just eat what I want today and I'll start it next week. You know, this was... You can't do it. If you're going to do that, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You've got to be, okay, I'm doing this. No stuffing around. No more excuses. You know, you've just got to put your foot down. That's it. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm laughs> yeah. Yeah. So important. Like, the mind is the most powerful thing. If you don't have the mindset, you know, you can have the best workout plan. You can have the best nutrition plan but it won't, it won't work. Like I use the example of Oprah, right? But the most successful woman probably of all time, right? But if you notice, she's always lost weight, put on weight, lost weight, put on weight. And it's because she's got so many, so many things going on that she doesn't stop and say, okay, we're going to concentrate on this. I'm, this is going to be my number one priority to do this. And she's got all the resources, all the money in the world. She could literally have a, nutritionist and a chef make all of her meals and feed her but yet she doesn't do that because she doesn't have the mindset required 
right? So anyone can achieve great results into the double digits as long as they have the mindset. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the number one, um, the number one thing, like, thing on top of the list. Yeah. Um, I used to be very negative. Yeah. You know, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've learned, you know, I've, I've, I've flipped that around as well. Yeah. Um, it's, it does, it does have a lot. It's the mind, mainly the mind. The other thing for me is the word diet. I don't go on a diet. I call it responsible or sensible eating. Yeah. I'm on a sensible eating plan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on a diet. Yeah. People say, what diet are you on? I'm not on a diet. What do you mean you're not on a diet? I just eat sensibly. Yeah. I'm not on a diet. <laughs> so it's, I don't, I don't calorie count. I don't eat no carbs, low carbs. I don't do keto. I don't not eat, th you know, I don't, I've, there's a few things that I've cut out of my, of what I eat, but um, I eat what I want to eat. It's, it's the portion. For me, it's portion sizes. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, if like, it's for dinner time, I will get a baby bowl for me to eat out of. I will serve myself my food in a baby bowl yeah. because that's the size that your stomach should be. Like if you dish yourself out a plate, your stomach's going to stretch and then you're going to want to eat more and more and more food. So I've decided for myself that I'm going to feed myself out of a baby bowl Whatever fits in that bowl, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> so I don't need to eat any more than that. That's awesome. Um, I eat a high protein breakfast. Um, I was never a breakfast person, so I kind of forced myself to eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. And um, now it's just an everyday routine. As soon as I get out of bed, first thing I do is go make breakfast. Have you seen the bunny? No, it's out there somewhere. Um, sorry. <laughs> I told you they find me everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, there's a few different products that I've used um, on the way. There's one that I've actually started marketing with the lady that I originally bought it from, and it's done fantastic for me. I've had... Uh, I don't know if any of the other ladies have the issue, but I, I get a lot of fluid retention. Yeah. Um, so in the mornings, I can hardly fit shoes on or bend my fingers. And I was taking medication for it. Mm -hmm. And um, the medication that you take for fluid retention is very bad for your liver. So it's not a, real, not a good thing to take. So once I started... Uh, Benjamin, get him a drink, please. Sorry. Um, <laughs> once I started the one, this one product um, that I got, I started it last September. Uh, it's been really good for me. I haven't had to take my fluid medication. Um, it's given me a lot of energy. It's helped. Like I've noticed my shape change. Not my weight may have stayed the same, but my shape changes. Mm. Um, it's um, good for your bones, your muscles, your skin, your hair, everything. Yeah. So um, that's been one thing that has helped me. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I use is like a protein supplement. Oh yeah. Okay. But I only. I only use that when, before I'm going to do like a, a workout. Yeah. Um, and also because Hello. I... Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I like to see your faces. Yeah. <laughs> With all the things. All the pretty ladies and the handsome men. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I do physical work I do cleaning I that's another thing that I started doing yeah, I like when, to say 
When I started the journey, I actually got off, got off my butt and got a job. And um, oh, mom. Oh, no. yeah. um, so that's another reason why I can't go on like a low carb diet, because if I don't eat carbs and then go to work and sweat all day, I'm just going to burn out and wear myself out. So I've got to have the carb intake. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just use the protein custard. Oh, sweet. It's actually pretty delicious. It's, um, you just put like two scoops and then you can add, I've cut dairy, so I use almond milk. Oh, yeah. Um, instead of cow's milk. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that that helps a lot with bloating. Like I don't get the bloating as much with the almond milk. Yeah. Or the coconut milk. Um, yeah, but the custard, the protein custard's really nice. Um, what else have I tried? There's a few other things that I've tried, but I don't believe they really did anything for me. Mm. Like I'm, I, you know, I like to try things, but then I'm, oh, that doesn't work. That's crap. <laughs> I'll try something else. <laughs> but it's not really for to get the supplements and that into your system, I guess. Yeah. Rather than just trying to get everything you can with fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And because of my age, like I'm 46, like it's not, it's, it's hard, it's harder work when you're older. <laughs> I noticed I could lose weight a lot easier when I was younger, yeah. but now, yeah, it's getting a bit harder. Mm. But, mm. I'm getting there. It's been a year and a half. Yeah. So wow. doing it, getting there slowly. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, Mum. <laughs> Mummy's talking. And I guess, <laughs> and I guess with like the fluid retention supplement, like I like going back. You know exactly like with the science, what it does. Like the, the, I don't think my mum knows that. Or, or like, like, do you know the science behind it or how it works? Does it like balance your hormones and that's why like the fluid retention stops like I can look at my sorry hang on a second i need to sebastian i can't hear what he's saying while you're talking in my ear can you can you take this can you take him out there please i'm trying to shoot up oh thank you I'm sorry, I can't hear what you're saying when he's jumping on me. That's okay. That's <laughs> my ADHD child. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did what was it that you were saying? Um, I guess like you, I'm I'm just wondering with you know the the supplement you use for the fluid retention. Do you feel like what's like the science behind it? Is it kind of like a hormonal like balance, and that's what it does to kind of get rid of it, or? Um, it's. It's a, it's a, it's a liquid collagen. Oh. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, I use the shape in the morning. It's like 15 mils in the morning. And I use another one called pure of a nighttime. Okay. And I have 15 mils of that, but it's with the shape. See with fluid retention, um, the fluid tablets, the medicated tablets, they actually make you pee a lot in the morning. So you take the tablet you drink water and then for the next two hours, you're constantly peeing, which is the fluid um, coming back out of your body. Mm -hmm. But um, I noticed with the shape, um, it was having the same kind of effect, but it was all natural ingredients. Yeah. And the liquid, and also the liquid collagen helps with your skin, your hair. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of issues with hair loss because of my thyroid. Yeah. Um, a lot of women that have thyroid issues have thin hair. Yeah. Um, so my hair started growing back with the college, the liquid collagen. My skin was feeling better and a lot cl clearer. Um, my muscles, my joints. I used to get a lot of knee, um, knee joint pain. Mm -hmm. Um, and also my ankles, my feet. 
and a lot of it has to do with the weight that I'm carrying. Mm. But um, I've noticed that a lot of my pa- um, knee joint and like my pain in my legs and has gone away. Yeah. Um, but anyway, with yeah, with the shape, you drink the 15 mils with 400 mils of water, mm-hmm. and you don't eat anything for half an hour. So yeah. you just wait half an hour before you have breakfast. And I've noticed that that makes you pee in the morning. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not needing the medication, the, the medicated meds. Wow. Um, and it's doing it for me, the, wow. the shape. Awesome. And um, December, I'd run out of shape and I was waiting. It actually went out of stock. And I was waiting for it to come back in and um, it all started coming back. Like the fluid retention and everything was coming back. Yeah. And um, I don't know what it is. Maybe I have a weird body, but um, salt is supposed to help you with fluid retention. Where with me, if I add salt to, to my food, it gives me fluid retention. Mm-hmm. I've noticed if I eat something salty the next day, I'm blown up like a big balloon. Mm-hmm. So, and, and a lot of people say, oh, well, that's not supposed to happen. You know, salt's supposed to have the reverse effect. And I said, well, it doesn't with me. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's different. Like some products might work for some people and not work for other people. Mm-hmm. But, um, I mean, it's you've got to... I've noticed you have to take notice of your own body. Yeah. Because some things that work for others may not work for you. So you have to kind of figure out what's working for you, I guess. Like you can try a lot of different things and think, oh, no, that's not working for me. Mm. Um, try I've tried multivitamins I've tried iodine drops for my hair because apparently with your thyroid it's, you have low iodine in your system yeah um, so I tried like iodine drops and different supplements that didn't really help yeah and um then I just, yeah, I started with the products that I'm using now and they've been fantastic. But, um, I mean, there are other the products in the, with, there are other um, things in the products like the, you can take like burn a body transformation kit and all that kind of stuff. But I did try that and that didn't work for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but the shape works fantastic and the pure has been really good for my hair and my skin and my muscles and my joints and yeah, everything else. Yeah. Awesome. But, um, and I'm the type of person that, you know, I don't have time to stand there making shakes. Yeah. Like to me, I've never been a shake person, like a meal replacement person. person. Um, I feel that if I'm going to lose weight, um, I need to eat proper food and I need to learn how to do it without supplementing. (laughs) Um, I don't want to keep buying shakes for the rest of my life. You know, I need to know what I'm supposed to eat for breakfast, what I'm supposed to eat for lunch, what I'm supposed to eat for dinner. I don't want to replace anything with a shake. Mm. and um i actually have tried a lot of shakes and to me it does nothing yeah it doesn't it doesn't fill me up i have it it's to me it's just like i've had a drink of milk yeah and it's done nothing yeah it's pretty much <laughs> um, what it is. um yeah like, like whey powder is the off cut like of it's the off cuts of milk so that's how whey was created and then just someone realized that it was just high in protein and then they started selling it yeah i mean it does um i mean i'm not telling everyone else not to do it because it um some people it works but for me it does it does nothing for me so and i'd prefer to just eat proper food than drink a milkshake um 
smoothies are good for the you get the frozen fruits. Yeah. Um, I go grocery shopping in Aldi, and I get the frozen bags of mangoes and raspberries and all those things. And then I've got like fresh cucumbers and avocados and that in the fridge. Mm-hmm. And um, you'd actually be quite surprised that mixing a lot of those fruits together and veggies and um, actually quite nice and they're really good for you mm. and they're more filling than that shake thing yeah so it's actual proper food <laughs> and that's what i prefer to yeah. have the food but um like they say each to their own and you have to find you know what works for you and what's good for you i don't meal prep i've never meal prepped um, that wouldn't work in my house because I've got teenagers and I'd wake up to a sink full of empty containers. They think it's midnight snacks. So <laughs> that's not working. <laughs> a lot of people have said, oh, you've got a meal prep and they send me all these pictures. This is how you do it. And this is what I've got in there. And I'm looking at them thinking, oh, yeah, I'd stand there for like three hours preparing all that. And my boys would get up of a night and think, oh, snack time. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they don't listen to don't eat those. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> oh, no, I don't remember mum telling me I can't eat those. Oh, they look pretty delicious. Yeah, I'm going to eat that. I'll just tell her tomorrow she has to make some more. Yeah. They don't listen to that. <laughs> Sounds like so, me. <laughs> yeah, I don't meal prep. I don't meal prep. So yeah. I don't, I don't go on a diet. I don't meal prep. I don't count calories. I don't cut carbs. I don't go on ketos and whatever else you want to call them. I just, I call it sensible eating, mm-hmm. really. And it's not rocket science. People know what they're supposed to put in their mouth and what they're not supposed to put in their mouth. Yeah. So <laughs> yep. that's the way I look at it. So you know. You just think, well, should I eat that? Nah. And there's another thing. You can eat whatever you want. Just don't swallow it. (laughs) (laughs) But um, I've done that a few times. You wouldn't understand, John, because you don't get your period. But us women, sometimes we have to eat chocolate. It's a necessity. And then you think, yeah, but that's not good for my weight loss. So um i'll just nibble on it and then i'll spit it out (laughs) (laughs) sorry is it monica or friends that does that i don't know i don't know but sometimes you've just got to put it in your mouth and you just think i'll just get the juices and then i'll just spit that out You know how it is when you got PMS <laughs> and you've just got to have that little bit of chocolate, even if you just taste it. <laughs> but you don't want to eat it. <laughs> yeah. And we all do stupid things. <laughs> I don't reckon. I don't recommend you chewing your food and spitting it out. That's not. That's not good. <laughs> So, but, um, Julie, if you had yeah. advice for like one, like for a person, like one advice for a person to get to double digits, like what would be that one advice? Um, the one advice would be, like I said before, is don't give up. Mm-hmm. Just don't give up. Like you do set small goals yeah. like I was 160 kilo and yeah I wanted to get into the double digits that's 60 kilo that's a lot of weight mm. so set small goals and what I did was five kilo at a time so I just want to get down to 155 so I get down to the 155 okay I'm, I, I made it. I got to 155. Okay, let's see. I'll get down to 150. And I did this throughout the whole journey. Um, small goals 
uh, at a time. And um, some people would I'd like, they'd say, oh, what are you trying to get down to? And I go, oh, I'm trying to get down to 150. And they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's still a lot. Yeah, but it's it's ten kilo less than what I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just set small goals. Don't expect that you're going to start this thing and it's going to happen overnight because it's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I think that's the main thing. Don't give up and set small goals. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, that was that was my my thing. Yeah. And I'm trying to get my mum on the on this trip as well. She's always, yeah, but I don't eat breakfast. And I said, well, I don't care if you don't eat breakfast. Tomorrow you're getting up and you're eating breakfast. How about that? And she just laughs at me. I go, it's not funny. I said, you're going to get up, you're going to cook two eggs, you're going to put a bit of cheese and some mushrooms and some this and that, and you're going to eat it. <laughs> so, the best and you thing. know what? And you know what? I don't care about mixing my um, recipes. Like I don't have, I don't do recipes. I don't have time for that. Come on, who wants to stand there reading a recipe and buying this and buying that? I'm just going to cook what the kids are going to eat. I'm going to make this for breakfast, and I'm the type of person, you know what? I'll eat the same breakfast every day. I don't care mm -hmm. because it's good for me. It's tasty. I like it. So that's what I'm going to eat. <laughs> 100%. But, um, and it's a big breakfast. Um, spray your pan with your olive oil spray, put two eggs, break the eggs, and then I'd put diced mushroom, capsicum, a little bit of grated cheese, and then I'd sprinkle cumin and turmeric over the top. Just a little bit. Um, cumin and turmeric is awesome for weight loss. Yeah. Um, and I'd eat that every morning. It's a, it's a lot of breakfast. If you actually do it yourself, you think, oh my God, that's a lot of food, mm -hmm. but it's a high protein breakfast. Um, I also got an egg cup and I'd have an egg cup of Mom. apple cider vinegar. Uh, Mom. What? Do you to say we'd work for you? Oh, come I on, get it. down. It's not Mom, mom, tell me all right, mommy's talking. Um, yeah, so I'd have an egg cup of apple cider vinegar with my breakfast, yeah, and it tastes disgusting. So you have to block your nose and quickly swallow it and then eat something, yeah. <laughs> but I did it every day, and that actually helps with weight loss as well, yeah. Um, okay, that's yeah, that's it. Just make sure you. It was uh, Julie. We're about to get booted off Zoom. Um, time limit. So we have forty minute time limit. So thank you for uh, talking to us, Julie. Um, and yeah, this was wonderful. <laughs> So thank you very no much. problem. And, no uh, problem. If anyone, if anyone wants an ass kicking.